Boys, there's a quiz out there titled 90% of diehard NBA fans will fail this quiz. We've taken so many quizzes over the course of this channel and I can tell you I have not failed a single one. Ready for the challenge, man. You guys want me to do this. Not just one person sent this to me. But we're going to get it right into I have to pull up my Twitter really fast. Just give me a second. Here we are. 90%. 90%. There's only 11 questions. So it's easy to fail a quiz with not too many questions. But you know what? Again, I'm still down for the quiz. So let's start off with question number one. Who is the third and last NBA player to win MVP three years in the row? We're starting off really easy with Larry Bird in the mid 80s. Easy. Easy. The only reason I know that is because people talk about it or started to talk about it once Steph Curry won that second MVP. Name the only player in NBA history to win back-to-back -back MVPs on two different teams. Okay. Well, I know KG only has one MVP trophy, so it's not KG. Shaq won his MVPs on the Lakers, so it's not Shaq. Magic played for one team in his career, so it's obviously Moses Malone. Two for two. Who is the shortest player to ever play in the NBA? Easily Muggsy Bowles. I mean, if you watch Space Jam, you know who Muggsy is. That's easy. Three for three on the hardest, or 90% of us are going to get this. We're just going to fail this, guys. 90% of us. Who has missed more free throws than any other player in NBA history? Wilt Chamberlain. Which player does the NBA logo resemble? How is this a hard question for any NBA fan? Die hard or not, we all know it's Jerry West. This is clickbait. This was a clickbait quiz. I, I'm used to seeing clickbait on YouTube. This is a clickbait quiz. I'm also going to use it as a clickbait YouTube title, though. The Boston Celtics hold the record for most consecutive championship wins. How many did they win in a row? Well, that's another one. Bill Russell in the 76... No, in the Celtics. One... Oh, wait. See, I'm I'm trying to be super confident. It's either eight or nine. I'm, I'm going to be the real me. It's either eight or nine. I don't remember. Eight or nine. I'm going to go eight because nine is still... A, eight is a crazy number, but nine is... Okay, eight. Remember, 90% of diehard fans are going to fail this quiz, by the way. Where did the Clippers play before they moved to LA? They played in San Diego. What is the Bulls record in the finals without Michael Jordan? Well, I'm a Bulls fan, so that's easy, but I'm sure even the casual fan know that the Bulls have not made it to the championship without MJ on their team. So zero for zero. Where did Bill Russell play college ball? That is at the University of San Francisco. Against which team did Isaiah Thomas score 16 points there? That, that was against the New York Knicks. How can I forget that game? I mean, it's before my time, but I've heard so much about that game. I haven't seen highlights of it or anything, but I've heard so much about it, read so much about it. But that's the Knicks. The last question is, who was the MVP of the 1981 NBA Finals? Oh, I wanted to get a perfect score so bad. I don't even know who won the championship in 1981 I'm gonna guess it was Larry Bird or Magic Johnson but who the heck is Cedric Maxwell if you just throw in a random name that I don't know I will click it if I don't know the answer to a question and there's a random name there ninety percent of us you thought we were done? We found another quiz with a similar title. 90% of NBA fans won't pass this Michael Jordan quiz. Being here in Chicago, I don't have like any Bulls memorabilia on the wall anymore, but being from Chicago, I should get this right. 10 questions, very similar to the other one. It's hard to pass a quiz with not that many questions, but you know what? We're going to try our best. How many points did MJ score in the iconic flu game? Well, my good sir, he scored about 38 points. Such a great picture, by the way. What high school did he attend? He attended Laney High. How many times has uh, Michael Jordan won regular season MVP? About five times. Six rings, five MVPs, four... I don't know. No, no, no. It's... No, no, no. It's seven consecutive... Give me a second. Seven consecutive... Uh, most... <laughs> Seven consecutive scoring titles, six rings, 
five MVPs. There we go. That that's what I was trying to think of. And there's a four and a three and a two and a one. But those are the ones that that come to mind right now. Question number four. <laughs> well, if we refer to uh, my my rhyme, well, it wasn't really a rhyme, but that was seven. Uh, who was the pick right before? That was Sam Bowie. There's a nice documentary about Sam Bowie. A lot of people call him a bust, but similar to the Greg, oh, similar to Greg Oden, Trailblazers have the worst luck. Injuries, injuries. It wasn't because of bad plays, because of injuries. When Michael Jordan got his jersey stolen, he wore the number 12. Yeah, he wore number 12. Why did Jordan retire in 1993? Ooh, conspiracy time. Now, some people tell you he was suspended from the NBA for a year, but they tried to cover it up considering he was like the face of the NBA, so he went over to baseball. Now, is that conspiracy true? I don't know, but out of these options, his dad was surely murdered. He did not have, I mean, he probably had a kid, but come on, nobody retires because they have a kid. He accomplished enough that maybe, because I mean, he was kind of tired of basketball at that point. Old age is not the question, but I'm going to go with his dad was murdered. And yeah, he was, so rest in peace to, to, um this guy what year was he inducted to the hall of fame he retired in i think 2004 there's a five year waiting period i'm pretty sure for being inducted to the hall of fame and of course he was a first ballot hall of famer so he 2004 plus five is 2009 let's get it what did he major in college think about okay most athletes, most, most athletes that know they're going to make it to the league, they're not trying to sweat a, a crazy degree. He's not going to major in geometry. Does anybody major in geometry? What can you use that in the real? I mean, I guess you're like an architect or something. Psychology, that's not an easy one, but it, a lot of people like psychology. Business administration, I doubt it. You know what may be really easy? Cultural geography. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what team retired MJ's number out of respect? What team retired his jersey out of respect? I don't know this one. Um, Pistons, I doubt it because I'm pretty sure Pistons fans were bloat, like be destroyed if they retired his number since how much of a rivalry they had back in the day. I don't see why the Spurs and the Mavericks will. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. We're just going to click it. 3 2 1. 3 2 1. I think I was on Spurs. It was in Miami Heat. 9 out of 10. Guess what? I passed. So let me know, guys. Were you a part of that 90% that was supposed to fail that quiz? Or are you in the 10% like me and it was easy money? If you did pass it, leave me a like, man. Let me know that you passed it by liking the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the King of the Fourth Quarter. More stuff to drop. Manana. I'm out.